Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to what is another episode of the world famous series now I'm bored But yeah guys we are back for none other than I think it's like episode 3 of Ando reacts when he's really really bored in quarantine So I feel like this is something we can all do together and that's what we're all pretty much doing at the moment Which is watching YouTube videos and oh my goodness, the support on the past two episodes has been absolutely unreal. I just want to thank every single person that demolishes the like button. And you guys absolutely love the series, which is so funny. Because I get so many videos tweeted to me during the week of the most random Pokemon stuff for me to react to. Now, today's video, it's a bang, it's a flippin' banger. I've actually reacted to similar stuff in the past, but like, I never knew. There's this video on the internet that has 12 and a half million views and he's like compiled all the comparison pictures into one we're gonna watch the official 2018 recap of all the real life pokemon so some guy has gone and got like a you know regular pokemon say a charmander and then he's gonna put it into a real life form as to what it would look like if it was roaming around in your backyard. Alrighty guys, so we got Pokemon in real life. I'm gonna link this video top of the description so you can check it out as well. Okay, there we go. First off the bat, we've got the staple, the Pikachu. This is probably one everyone wants to see. It's got the shiny nose. I think this is a rabbit that's been sort of spray painted. Then a real life Ivysaur. Looks kind of creepy, doesn't look crazy realistic, like how do they get a big flare on the back of a uh, crocodile slash frog? What on earth is that? It's literally like a rattlesnake at the back of him, put on the back of a watermelon. And then like a leaf. Oh, what the flip is that? Pause. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does anyone... What the flip is that? Yo, that's a flipping Venonat with strawberries as eyes. Why is Venom that? Oh, that's cut. That's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, I feel physically ill. Why is that creep me out so? Does anyone else? Is anyone else literally terrified as to what they see on the screen? Am I just? Oh, I feel physically. That's no. What? What is that? Oh gosh. It looks like it has strawberries for eyes, and someone tie dyed a cotton wool bud. You know, the things your mum puts in their ears. Okay, let's keep watching. We got a Venom that right here. I never want to see that thing in real life. Ever. If I if that never gets made, then heck yeah. Oh no way. Look, it like it's got cherries at the bottom of its tail. It's basically like a spray painted cat. It kind of looks like my friend's cat called Sushi. Yo, I never even thought of this guy in real life. Magnemite. He would be. He'd be reflective. The eyeball would be reflective too. Spot on. Okay. Okay, that's his classic a weird bug. Doesn't even look like a caterpie. Maybe it does a bit. Maybe they got like uh, the inspiration from the dots on him. What the heck is that? That's just a jellyfish, and then someone's gonna put eyeballs on it. That's that's not crazy, crazy. I've seen this one before. I mean, obviously the inspiration is there. It's a unicorn, so it's a basic horse with like fire coming out of its legs. That's what I look like in my 100 meter sprint. What the flip? Is that? That's a cat. That's a cat with a pig's ear, or pig's nose on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a domesticated cat with a pig nose. Whoa, that's trippy. Do you think you'd accidentally step on him at the beach or something? Like he's just a regular rock and you're like, oh, it's a geo dude. Oh, that's that's kind of disgusting. I would have, but I guess it's a butterfly. It's, it's a butterfly. I just would have thought he would have been chunkier in the stomach. What do you guys reckon? I have seen this one before. It's oh, it's like a scaly. It's not quite a toad though, is it? It's more beautiful than a toad. Then a classic. It's a tortoise with cannons in its shell. You imagine like it's running after you. It just gives up because it can't catch up to you. It flies out. What the flip is that? Is that actually the flower that inspired the Pokemon? Because there's a guy posing next to it, so it's not photoshopped or anything. Okay, what the flip am I looking at right here? That just looks like every guy at my gym, to be honest. That that doesn't look too crazy. Like, he's got the overgrown 5 o'clock shadow going on as well. Oh, what the? That looks like torture. That's an oddish that's clearly been ripped out of the ground, guys. I think it's a beetroot. Is it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The poor polywag. Is that actually what it is? No way. That's kind of weird, but I get... This is making me think about Pokemon in a whole different way, guys. 
That literally looks like the dog at the park you wouldn't want to let your like little puppy near because it'd be game over. Ah, it's a blue... Do you think so? Can you see it? Maybe. Maybe I can see it. I guess you're pushing it. What the flip is this? That looks like another evil dog you wouldn't want to let your dog near at the park. But he's got magical spoons this time. Alakazam to a whole new level. Okay, okay. I see that. Evil looking cobra. Which is uh, Arbok, you know? And then... Yeah, that's pretty good. I would almost want to say it's not Growlithe, it's more of an Arcanine, that picture right there. But pretty spot on. It's more of a domesticated dog. Whoa! Okay, Beetroot, look, got the Kylie Jenner like lip kit done, obviously. <laughs> the roots are like uprooted. Kind of looks like a Scooby Doo movie gone wrong. That's kind of cool. I mean, it does look terrifyingly evil that would abduct your soul during the night, but still cool. It's Umbreon, guys. Oh, is, is that cool or is that just plain creepy? Nothing beats the Venonat, like I'm still having flashbacks right now. I've seen this one before and I think I've used this as a thumbnail as well. This is a spot on 100% guys. Don't you think that's what it would look like? Pikachu again? Yeah, it's more, it's more of a cat one and this one's a really viral picture on the internet. All the BuzzFeed articles picked that one up. Yo, 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 that actually works. Make his eyes a bit more red. But that's spot on, like he's got his little pincers too, doesn't he? Whoa, what is that? That's a Charmander. So it's a lizard with a, it's almost like a lighter, you know, you buy from the store. It's like a lighter has been photoshopped on the back of his tail, pretty spot on. This is more of a realistic looking Bulbasaur too. I get around this one 100%. Okay, that Bulbasaur store is pretty good. Then we're gonna Golem. Is that even real? What the flip's going on in that picture? What? It's like in the Detective Pikachu movie when Torterra got out the mountain. Oh my god! <laughs> he looks terrified. That's me when I get up for ca like karaoke. Oh, you guys want me to sing that song? I never, I never learned it. Oh man. You already know, eight-year-old Ando is running in the opposite direction when he sees these at the National Park. Like, oh my gosh, these guys are going to eat me. Eh, I kind of like the other Pikachus. This one just looks like a, a sick animal. It doesn't quite look spot on, does it? That's actually banging. That's perfect, Paris. What Pokemon is, I mean, what uh, actual animal is that? Leave a comment. Whoa, they do like new Pokemon, Shellos. Not even bad. I guess it's spot on. If you like, just colored in the outside yellow, that's what it looks. What the flip is that? He looks so happy. Oh, I get happy looking at him. That's good. Okay, okay. Why does he look more manly than he should? Mankey? Mankey needs to be more like compact. He can't be like a werewolf looking thing. That belongs in Twilight or something wrong. Oh, Charmeleon! No way, we're we getting a Charizard. Charmeleon looks like a lizard. And that's exactly what he is. What am I talking about? Yup, that Rattata's spot on. Perfect. You guys have to pick your favorite in the comment section below. Like, it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I can see that, I can see that. It's just the ears that are a huge difference. If the bunny opened its mouth, it would have the same teeth as well. So far my favorite's Venonat, but also I'm terrified by it. Zubat, yo! Actually kind of looks like a bat. The blue wings. Oh, I don't know about this one. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe this video tries to compare the real life version of it, so maybe that's what it was inspired by. Okay, what the, that's, that's a kangaroo. That's a baby joey or kangaroo. I'm 99% sure Raichu was never modelled after a kangaroo. Oh my goodness. Is that actually Mega Venusaur? Or just a Venus? <laughs> That's terrifying. I'd never want to see a Mega Venusaur in my life. I mean, I've got that bird. That bird is right out the front. It's in that tree across the road. That bird's common as. Wow. I almost feel like this is kind of photoshopped, right? It's pretty heavily photoshopped. 
I almost think you could find a real life version that looks very similar. Holy smokes, that's so realistic. What the flip is that? Why has it got silk and like all this stuff on it? Ooh, that kind of creeps me out. Again, we're back to Pikachu. They're trying to like enforce, guys, Pikachu's the best one. I, I really think Pikachu's probably my least favorite. I don't, out of all of these, there's better real life ones. Nine Tails, yeah. I guess it's cool because it's got Volpix right there. No way, that is the ugliest bat I've ever seen. Got a uh, gold bat right there. Do you see it? I see it. It's ugly as the. <laughs> Yo, you didn't need to Photoshop your cat's eyes like that, bro. Oh no, <laughs> why does he look like that? I'm actually crying, that's terrible. Whoa! That's it, that's it, that's my favorite. Charmander. Cause that flame spot on, the lizard pose as well, that's something Charmander would do, isn't it? Like that? Oh, here's the, what are those things called? I'm pretty sure, oh, I can't remember, I'm gonna get it wrong. Is it Armadillo? I don't know. Mega Beedrill, I mean, I feel like we've already gone over this with the regular one. There's certain Pokemon where the Mega Evolution just looks exactly the same. Charizard! Thinking about it, Charizard's like every person's favorite Pokemon. You're always like, that's what I want if, if Pokemon was real, I'd want to have a Charizard. No, you probably wouldn't, because it'd look like that and it'd be terrifying flying around. It's probably eat your curried egg sandwich. I love these. Spot on, if it was going to be realistic, that's 100% what it would look like. And that's it! No way! We reacted to them all. You know guys, after watching that video, I think the craziest thing for me is to imagine if I was a Pokemon trainer like right now and I could pick any Pokemon to be like a real life Pokemon partner, I would struggle so much because my number one favorite Pokemon is Thunderous, yet that would scare the absolute bejeebus out of me if I had to look at that thing every day. He's a sick Pokemon, but I don't know about a real life Pokemon partner. It would have to be something cute, but then you'd want to have something that you could defeat other trainers with. This is such a hard task, what the flip? Anyway, you guys have to let me know what's your go-to real life Pokemon partner, I'd love to find out. And thank you again to everyone that supports this reaction series, it means the absolute world. It's a lot of fun for me to do something that you guys love in quarantine, especially not leaving the house, so thank you again for all the support in the series. Hopefully you're doing alright, remember to wash your hands, and definitely subscribe to the channel, we're almost on the big 2 million subscribers. Holy smokes, we got some good videos coming up next week. Until then guys, have a fantastic day, but most of all, what are you, what are you gonna do again? You're gonna keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace. The oh, what's the Pikachu, Pikachu say? Don't... Oh no. Oh no. Pikachu! Oh, I'm done. That was nice. That was a good video. And uh, with that, good goodbye. I never want to open TikTok again. I'm done. Can't do tripping, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me.